Hello everyone, Prasad Domala here. In this video demo, I will show you how you can manage SOA composite applications using a WebLogic scripting tool that is a WLST. Most middleware administrators use a Fusion Middleware Control or a Enterprise Manager Console to manage a SOA composites. But uh, if you want to automate any management operations using uh, Python scripts, you can uh, use these uh, WLST commands. Also in some situations, EM console can be very slow and impossible to navigate if you haven't uh, tuned it uh, properly, particularly in environments with a uh, huge number of uh, SOA composites and uh, partitions. In such situations, uh, these WLST commands can be very handy. And uh, if you are a command line uh, person who prefers black and white screen rather than fancy GUIs, you can always uh, use these uh, WLST commands. We have two modes to execute uh, these commands, online and offline uh, modes. In online mode, you need to connect to a SOA managed server before executing the commands. And in offline mode, we don't need to connect to managed server. And we can pass the connection details in the command line directly. And uh, we also have different types of commands like uh, deployment commands, which are used to deploy and undeploy uh, SOA composite applications. And uh, we have application management commands which can be used to start, stop, retire and activate uh, SOA composite applications. And we have uh, export and import commands as well. And in this category we have HTTP client based and uh, MBIN based commands. HTTP client based commands can be executed in offline mode but uh, for MBIN uh, based commands you need to be in uh, online mode. And finally partition uh, management commands which can be used to create and delete partitions stop, start, activate, retire all the composites uh, in a particular partition. For this video demo, I am using a SOA environment which I installed as part of uh, identity and access management installation previously as it comes with some uh, default composites which we can use to uh, test the WLST commands. So this is my uh, WebLogic administration console where my uh, WLS underscore SOA is running on port uh, 8001. And uh, here I am logged into my EM console. As you can see, under default partition, we have uh, these uh, composites uh, deployed. To execute uh, SOA specific WLST commands, we need to uh, execute WLST from SOA home. So let's navigate to SOA home. That's uh, U01 app Oracle product FMW Oracle underscore SOA common bin. So you need to execute WLST from this location. Okay, we are inside uh, WLST uh, prompt now. So let's start with uh, deployment commands first. So let's see how to undeploy a composite. To undeploy a composite, you need to use uh, this command, sca underscore undeploy composite. And then you need to provide uh, the HTTP URL of your uh, SOA managed server. And then your composite name and the revision of your composite that is 1.0 in my case and then you need to provide uh, the username and password for your uh, weblogic user id so you can use any user id here uh, which has uh, deploy permissions in your uh, weblogic console and then you need to provide the uh, partition so the partition is optional here if you don't provide the partition name it uh, defaults uh, to the default partition so run this command it will create a HTTP connection to your uh, SOA managed server and then it uh, undeploys the composite. As you can see, the undeploy uh, process is uh, successful. So this is how you undeploy a composite. So let's verify the composite on the EM console now. So as you can see, you have uh, auto approval uh, composite here. So let's refresh this page. It should be undeployed now. Okay, now let's uh, try to redeploy it again using uh, WLST. So you need to execute SCA underscore deploy composite and then uh, your uh, SOA managed server URL and uh, absolute path of your uh, SOA archive file and then username, password and the partition. So deploying composite is uh, successful. So let's verify it on the console again. As you can see, it's uh, redeployed. So that's how you uh, deploy and uh, undeploy uh, SOA composite applications using uh, WLST. Next, let's see a uh, composite application management commands. So let's start with uh, stop composite. So this is the command SCA underscore stop composite and then your host name or IP address and then your SOA managed server port number, username, password, your composite name, the revision and partition. Okay, execute this. 
In this case, it uses uh, JMX server to execute uh, the WLST commands. So as you can see, uh, the composite is uh, successfully stopped now. So let's go to the EM console, refresh it again. You should see the status as down. Okay, as you can see, auto approval is uh, stopped now. Now let's try to uh, start this particular composite using WLST again. So the command would be SEA underscore start composite and then the parameters would be same as uh, stop composite. Execute this and as you can see it successfully started. So if you refresh this page again the status should be active. Okay now let's see how to retire a composite. The difference between stopping and retiring is that uh, when you retire a composite all existing composite instances will run as uh, normal but uh, you cannot create a new instance. When you stop a composite, all existing instances will also be stopped. Okay, this is the command se underscore retire uh, composite and then you need to provide the host name, port, username, password, composite name, revision and partition. So as you can see, it's successfully retired. You should see the status here. Auto approval is uh, in retired state. Now let's see how we can activate it. So this is the command SEA underscore activate composite and then the same parameters as uh, retire. So as you can see it's successfully activated. Okay now the status is uh, active. So that's how you perform uh, basic application management operations like start, stop, active and retire, etc. So now let's see uh, how we can list all these composites using uh, WLST. So the command for that is SCA underscore list deployed uh, composites and then host name, port number, username and password. So this command gives you a list of uh, all uh, deployed composites. Now let's have a look at uh, HTTP client based export import commands. So these commands uh, can be executed in uh, offline mode. First, let's uh, try to export a composite. And this is the command for that, sca underscore export composite. And then your uh, HTTP URL of your SOA managed server. Next, uh, you need to provide update type. So you have four types of uh, export. So if you provide all, uh, it exports all post deployment changes. If you provide property, it exports uh, only property related post deployment changes like audit levels and uh, binding components, etc. Next, you have a runtime which exports uh, only runtime post deployment changes like uh, metadata or uh, value maps or uh, rules, etc. Finally, you can give it as none which exports only original composite and uh, excludes all uh, post deployment changes. For this demo, I'm giving it as all, which uh, exports all post deployment uh, changes along with the composite. Next, you need to provide the absolute path of your um, exported jar file and then your uh, composite name, the revision, username, password, and then the partition. Okay, execute this command. As you can see, the export composite is success. So let's verify if the jar file is created. So under my home directory, so a composites. So we have a jar file created here. So that's how you export a composite. You also have an option to export only the updates instead of a whole composite. Say for example, if you want to export only the post deployment changes on a particular composite and import them into another environment. So you can use export updates command. So that would be SCA underscore export updates and then your uh, URL, and then your update type, and then the absolute path of your jar file, your composite name, revision, username, password, and then the partition. So we haven't done any changes after the deployment of this uh, composite, so it should uh, complain that there are no changes. So as you can see, it cannot find any post deployment updates. So let's change uh, something for this composite. Say for example, say the composite audit level. So as of now, the audit level is inherit. Let's change it to off. Confirm. Now let's execute uh, the export command. Okay, as you can see, export uh, updates success. So let's verify if the jar file is created. 
So we have our uh, updates uh, jar file created. So you can use this jar file to import uh, these particular settings in another environment or uh, on another uh, composite. So now let's see how to import these uh, updates. For the sake of this uh, demo, I'll change the audit level uh, back to inherit and execute the import command. As we have audit level as off in the exported jar file, the value should be changed to off after the import. So let me change the audit level to inherit again. And then execute uh, the import command. So the import command will be uh, same. So that is uh, SCA underscore import updates. And then uh, all your parameters will be same, except that you don't provide uh, the update type here. Okay, so we need to provide the URL of your server managed server, and then the path of your updates uh, jar file, your composite name, revision, username, password, and then the partition. Okay, import updates success. So now if you verify, on the console, the audit level should be changed to off. So let's refresh this. And then check the audit level. It is off, but it's not showing it on the console. Let's uh, refresh the whole page again. Okay, as you can see, the audit level is changed to off now. So that's how you export and uh, import the updates using uh, HTTP client based uh, commands. So you can perform the same uh, activities using mbean based uh, commands as well. But mbean based uh, commands are online commands. So you need to connect to uh, your SOA managed server before executing uh, the commands. Also, please uh, note that these uh, jar files cannot be used with uh, deploy composite commands as uh, this is not the whole uh, SOA composite application. You can use it uh, only with uh, import updates command. So let's connect to SOA manage server using connect command that is connect and then your username, password, and then hostname colon SOA port number. So if you want to execute online commands, you need to first connect to your uh, SOA manage server. So you are connected now. Now you can execute um, online commands. First, let's see export uh, composite uh, MB in command. So that would be SCA underscore export composite MB. And then uh, you need to provide the update type and then your uh, path of your uh, jar file, your composite uh, application name, and then the revision. As you can see, the composite uh, successfully exported. Next, you can execute export updates MB command to export uh, the updates. So you need to provide the update type, the path of your uh, jar file, your application name, and then the revision. As you can see, all post uh, deployment updates of the composite were successfully exported. So you can verify. Okay, as you can see, the jar file is uh, created here. Next, you can use import updates MB command to import uh, the jar file. You need to provide the absolute path of the jar file, your composite application name, and then the revision. So this command imports uh, all post uh, deployment uh, changes from this uh, jar file to the composite. So that's how you uh, export a composite and uh, export updates using mbean based um, management commands. Now let's uh, have a look at uh, partition management uh, commands. So these are uh, online commands as well. So you need to make sure that uh, you are connected to uh, SOA managed server before executing uh, these commands. So to create a partition, you can use uh, SCA underscore create partition and then you can give your uh, partition name. As you can see, the partition was successfully created. If you verify on the console, let me refresh it. You should be able to see two partitions now. Okay, so that's how you create a partition using WLST. Now let's uh, try to delete that partition using SCA underscore uh, delete partition. Okay, the partition was successfully deleted. So if you refresh it again, the partition should be deleted. As you can see, the new uh, partition is uh, deleted. Next, we have uh, commands to stop, uh, start, retire, and uh, activate all composites in a partition. So you can stop all composites in a partition using uh, this command, SCA underscore stop composites in partition. 
and then you need to provide the partition name okay as you can see all composites in the partition were successfully stopped you can verify that and you can see all the composites are stopped now you can start all these composites again using sca underscore start composites in partition command which starts uh, all the composites in that partition as you can see all composites in the partition were successfully started refresh it again and all the composites are uh, started now similarly you can retire uh, the composites using uh, sca underscore retire composites in partition command As you can see, all the composites are retired now. And you can activate them again using SCA underscore activate composites in partition command. As you can see, all the composites are in active state now. So if you want to list all the partitions, you can use SCA underscore list partitions command, which uh, lists down all the existing partitions in your uh, SOA infrastructure. So as you can see, we have only one partition which is uh, default and that's it these are the essential WLST commands to manage SOA composite applications hope you liked the video and found it helpful if you did please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my youtube channel for more uh, technical videos like this one that's it for now have a good day and uh, see you in the next one